So if you ask me why is divorce rate so high these days, I will tell you one thing, and that is people don't ask the necessary questions before they get married. That, that your girlfriend, that woman that you want to get married to, there are certain questions that you must ask her. Even you as the lady that wants to be married, there are certain questions that you should, you should ask your man before you finally agree to marry him. Else, that marriage has a high possibility of crashing after a few years. So this video is all about those five questions that you must ask your woman or your girlfriend before you put a ring on her finger. Now, the very first question you should ask your woman or your girlfriend is, what are the things that you want the most from your husband? Now, the answer this woman will give to you will determine whether she's someone that you can marry or she's someone that you can just throw away from your life. Now, if this woman tells you, I want my man to be taking me on different trips, I want a man that will be spending money on me, I want a man that will be lavishing money on me, I want a man that will buy me this and that. She's not talking about, I want a man who is intelligent. I want a man who can be a good role model to our kids. I want a man who can be a leader. I want a man who I can look up to. I want a man who will be a good father figure to our children. The level of answer or the kind of answers a woman gives to you will qualify her or disqualify her from marriage. This is one thing most of you guys don't know. The kind of answers women will give to you when you ask them this question is what will now determine whether they are the kind of women you should marry or if they are the kind of women you should just have fun with and go your way. Because most of you guys make this mistake of marrying women who from the way they talk or from the, or from the ways they behave, you should, you, should, you should not have married them in the first place. But because you don't ask the right questions, you will end up, ended up marrying them. And at the end of the day, you are frustrated in your own marriage. You are unhappy in your own marriage. This is because you don't ask the right questions. Assuming you ask the right questions, how the girl even answered you will tell you that this girl is not for you, that this girl is not ready for marriage, that she's not the type of woman that is ready for marriage. Now, the second question you should ask that woman before you marry her is, do you believe that a man's money is our money? Why a woman's money is her own money? There are some women who have this gutter mentality that a woman should never spend her money on a man. I've met women like that, and women like this are everywhere. They are stingy to the core. Even if their man is dying, they will never bring out their money to help their man. They have this mentality that a man should always provide, and that, and that a woman should never bring even one cobalt. No matter what you do in this life as a man, nothing will help you in your marriage more than having a supportive wife. A woman who knows that, even as a woman, that she should bring out money and help the family sometimes. Marriage is not all about a, a man bringing the money every time. No. Personally, I feel that marriage is 80-20. The husband will bring 80 and the woman brings 20. But if a woman believes that a woman should not bring anything at all at all, instead of her to bring the money to help the family, she would rather use her money to be buying things for herself. Even if the ch children's school fees have not been paid, she doesn't care. She will, st she will still expect you to pay the school fees. Because she believes that a woman's money should be her, is her money. Whereas the man's money is the family's money. Ask your woman this question before you begin to make arrangements to marry her. Because if a woman tells you a woman's money is her money, whereas the man's money is her money, then this woman is obviously stingy. Then this woman is obviously the kind of woman that will never bring out her money to support you as a husband. As a husband because a time will come when you will need your wife to support you except your wife is jobless no matter what you do as a man a time will come when you will need your wife to support you probably you experience problems in your business or your boss don't pay you or something happened a time will come when you will need your woman to support you financially so if a woman believes that a woman's money is her money and the man's money is her money it is a huge problem and it will cause problems in that marriage because when you would expect her to bring her money she'll start fighting you that it's not her job to provide it's not her job to bring her the money for certain things in the in the house which would be a very big problem so when a woman tells you this trust me she's not the right one for you especially when it comes to marriage you can date this kind of women but when it comes to marriage 
totally avoid them. Don't marry them. It's as simple as that. Except you're comfortable with a woman not giving you her money. If you're comfortable, go ahead. But personally, I advise you to marry a woman who is comfortable with also spending her money on you and using her own money to sort out some family problems. The third question you should ask a woman before you marry her is, what is your biggest ambition in life? Now, the major reason why you should ask this question is to know how ambitious that woman is. Because if a woman is ambitious, very, very ambitious, her ambitions will cause a lot of problems in that marriage. Because don't forget, a woman who is ambitious will give less time to her husband, to her children, and to the family as a whole, while focusing more of her time and energy and effort in building her career on it, or in building her business. So always find out whether that woman you want to marry is extremely ambitious. The worst part is if she's extremely ambitious and you're also very ambitious, that marriage will never work. When two ambitious people marry, they will always divorce. That's one thing you guys must know. So if you are the very ambitious type, marry a woman who is not so ambitious. In fact, even yourself as a man, you should not marry a woman who is more ambitious than you. That's the truth. Because if a woman is more ambitious than you, at some point she's going to surpass you in all ramifications, financially, socially, otherwise. And it will now become difficult for her to look up to you. Because for a woman to respect you, she has to look up to you. And you have to be and you have to be superior to her financially, socially, and in all areas of life. But if she is very ambitious, then trust me, it's just going to be a huge problem for you in that marriage. Because her ambitions will become a priority to her than you and the kids. The fourth question you must ask a woman before you marry her is, how many children do you want us to have? Majority of the times, what will cause problems between you and your wife at some point is the number of children. For example, you as a man, you want four children, the one you can train. Whereas your, your wife wants six, or you as a man, you want a big family. Because probably you grew up as the only child, now you want a very big family. You want six children or seven children, and your wife only wants two or three. As you guys married, after she, she has given birth to three, she tells you that she doesn't want to give birth again. And you, you'll be like, give birth now. I want seven children or I want six children. And she, and she tell you no. And you start looking for ways to marry another woman. All these things will cause problems. So it's better that you know from the onset how many children that she wants to have and see if it correlates with the number of children that you, was, you also want to have to avoid future problems. Always ask this question. Else, it could be a big problem later in that marriage. The fifth question that you must ask your woman is, will having children or will childbirth affect our sex life? The major reason why women become unattractive to their husbands is because of childbirth. After childbirth, their body starts sags, their body becomes unattractive, and of course, this will make the husband to start looking elsewhere. Now, before you marry a woman, ask her this question, babe, Will having children affect our sex life? If she tells you no, then that means this kind of woman will be ready to do everything possible to regain her shape, to regain her attractive body, even after multiple childbirths. Ask her things like, can you go to the gym after childbirth? Can you work out? Can you try to basically to just do everything possible to get your body back in shape to that sexy shape it was before you started giving birth? If this woman tells you yes, then you know that, okay, this is the kind of woman that will put in the effort to keep our sex life strong even after childbirth. But if a woman starts telling you, I'm not sure I can go to the gym, uh, my mother did not go to the gym after she gave birth to us and my father was still with her, this is the kind of woman that will allow having children affect you guys' sex life. And this will be a huge problem because most times the major reason why married men cheat is because their wives are not ready to put in the, the work to get back that sexy body that they had before they started giving birth. And this will make this man to go out there and cheat. But if your wife tells you that, yes, babe, I can work out, I can do everything after, after childbirth to get my sexy body back, then this is a clear indication that this woman is the one you should marry. So that's basically it. These are the five questions that you must ask that woman before you marry her. Else, 
this will be a big problem after marriage and this could lead to early divorce and this is not what you should be looking at or wanting so you must ask a woman or your woman these five questions